Merry, Merry Christmas. I am Daniel of Canada, and uh, one from the north would be chosen from another tongue. Uh, Isaiah 41 predicted of the Lord's messenger unto Israel that they have received uh, their inheritance. Uh, as it is written in uh, Isaiah 54, 3, they have inherited all mankind. Because in these latter days, God promised, it says so in Jeremiah 31, 1, that in these latter days, that he would be the God of all families of Israel, and from the least to the greatest, all would know him, which was correctly written to all mankind. So there had been a, a little boom boom throughout history uh, because uh, the covenant has never been given. It was never given. It was, God says, I will give you the words, but it will come to pass in the latter days. It's the messenger of Malachi 3, one who prepares the way of the Lord through his message. He is the writer. He is the sender. I'm just his messenger. Jesus was never the messenger of the kingdom age covenant because it was written for the latter days. That's why Christ said, who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is still away? Uh, and he was foretelling his uh, uh, Elijah who would come first and restore all things through his word, his message that would prepare his own way. Uh, that Israel has inherited all mankind and that their new name has been given unto them as it was foretold in Isaiah 62 too. Their name is Chrislam. And for that reason, uh, Muhammad foretold in the Hadith that the day was coming when a book would come proving God's word of, uh, word of um, uh, uh, forgiveness and mercy for us and that his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam. And Chrislam is the faith of the Lord God proving himself to be the, not a respecter of men, loving each of us individually exactly the same. And with the true uh, error-filled uh, revelation that born again has never been of here, only of here. And so it's time for uh, an immediate repentance should come across the land. Uh, and I hold all the scepter of all of God's authority. Uh, Genesis 49, 12, I am one whose eyes are dull and red of wine. Yea, I am the bringer of uh, Habakkuk 2, the glory, vision of, of God Almighty. The vision was written for the appointed time at the end, and it has come, it has not lied. Behold, my soul might not be upright, but the just will live by my faith because I shall be as hell and never be satisfied, greedy as I embrace all people of the world unto our good shepherd who arises as he said he would in John 10 over all the flocks of man. He is the son of love of uh, arising to destroy all gross darkness of Isaiah 60. And he stands upon the great white cloud of Matthew 24. The kingdom has come, the word has come anew, Daniel. 12, 9. It was only closed until the time of the end. And he sends forth the sickle of his love in these days of Amos 9 manifesting. For he is revealed to be the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper. So it's time for a call for immediate repentance over love. And the Lord's chosen must quit blowing fake smoke, get real, get right with love, and become ready to receive love's greatest end-time blessing from his hands. For every knee shall bow unto his name, love, and every tongue shall confess Christ, whose name John the Beloved named him uh, as love, capital L, First uh, John 4, 7. Only by people of being obedient to the Spirit shall this world be saved. Christ through us, his love flowing through us anew, in a new way, with new understandings that the depth of his love has always been bottomless, as it has been proven here at this channel alone. Only now could people become wiser than the wise and, and shine as the stars in the days of the latter day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13. Uh, it says that the wise may shine as the stars finally. No more shall we look through a glass darkly 
only knowing in, uh, in part. For the Lord God is now offering the simple honesty of his love, which always has declared that tomorrow hopes that we've learned something from yesterday, a yesterday that is nothing but desolate heritages, Isaiah 49, 8. And it is my job to reassign that uh, as it is written clearly. So it's now a time of great desolation in the earth, a uh, time of the great uh, trial over all flesh, COVID. Revelation 3 comes bringing God's word of patience uh, to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change by a new revelation of his love. Uh, woe unto those that say there will never be another end time revelator when it is clearly prophesied. I am the strong and mighty one, line by line, precept by precept. Uh, one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18. Kingdom age, covenant giver, and a writer. I am the writer of the everlasting gospel. You may hear the everlasting gospel of creation that was prophesied. I am the writer of uh, the flying scroll that uh, Zechariah penned in 3, 4, and 5. That will go into houses and destroy houses and unloving people from the inside because love has always been an inside job. Never be before has there been a more desperate hour of needed revival of love alone for love always uh, love is love forevermore and love isn't even love unless it's given away love is forgiveness and forgiveness is love They're, they are both the same exact word and but uh, since most of the world's people have been spiritually blinded and their love has been dying and they only have conditional love that's the problem our father in heaven he has unconditional love and we have conditional love in the story right there and we must have his kind of love hey even my own family i did not like them uh individually all of my family at different times they get on my nerves but i always loved them love transcends and so shall he show us the way to walk down the truest path of love by his kingdom age enlightenment so that people coming with me may be the uh, we the rest uh, rejecting his message of his unconditional love, total unconditionality, uh, are spitting in his face of him and Gethsemane praying for our oneness. They're spitting in Christ's face, uh, his prophecy of him arising as the good shepherd over all the flock. And praise God, free at last, that's where he wants to bring us. And know the great multitudes of darkened souls who are on the road to, to perishing by slowly committing the unforgivable sin of letting their love wax cold. Um, they are even quick to embrace the accursed heresy of blasphemous literature, painting uh, relig sacrilegious, sacrilegious pictures of our Lord's life. But, you know, Jesus said, all sin shall be a uh, forgiven man except the unforgivable sin. Even all sin against me, Jesus said, pointing to himself. Um, only unforgivable uh, sin would people perish. People, I'm telling you, it's letting your light go out because our love is him living in us. That is Christ's name. And the word of God is now rejoicing over this new revelation. So therefore, the people of our Father of light should now understand as they bow down to the most radiant light of the world that our living Lord of always, he rejoices ever so much over people's glad voices if we'll passionately ring out with joyful worship and continual happy praises unto he who has sent the word of liberation to help bring the captives out from the darkness and such shall now ascend our joyfulness unto the highest holy heavens it'll be as a mist that always will trigger further heavy showers of many fast flowing blessings over all of us uh, that have our open arms to receive what God would send falling all over the earth pouring out his spirit upon all flesh yea let us be spiritual rainmakers let us uh, let our happiness and joy ascend and in love into the heavens so that it may come back down and for that cause all the earth shall be saved uh, Revelation um, uh, has been found in Isaiah 61 and 60. 
that predicts that love will stir up this earth so much that money from all over this world is going to come in and restore everything to where it shall be like as Eden in front of us. So it's time to learn the secrets of the mystery of God that are now over. And then the hearts of such uh, glad worshipers shall empty themselves as they go therewith in holy exaltation, as they ascribe unto the Lord all glory that's due unto his name. For he deserves all uh, our focus. He is Adonai. He is uh, Elohim. Adonai. Uh, Allah. He is God. He is the living word of God. And Jesus is God in the flesh. Emmanuel. And he has always been the true God, the Holy One, the Just One, our Blessed. He who is the Blessed, the Beloved, and the Adored is he. And he arises in the splendor of his own magnificence as he arises on the great white cloud of uh, Matthew 24, the great white cloud of Revelation 14, sending forth the sickle of, for the harvest. And I am the writer of the everlasting gospel. And he, it is he, Christ alone, who is now waiting, uh, who wants his people to want the kind of divine enlightenment that he's sending forth a, a greater revelation of his love in order to bring the heaven sent peace of the kingdom age. If only mankind will believe the truth that uh, our Lord God was never a sinner. He was never a respecter of people. He had no favorites. He is roar cries louder than ever before and he's calling each of our names as if we were the only one and he loves each of us that much thus saith our lord god of always he is the powerful savior the eternal the measureless and unto him alone goes all glory and majesty dominion and power now and evermore as this anointed gospel of his highest praises in truth uh, comes and unfolds. So it's time to, for the Lord's flocks to magnify our living love and let all of God's littlest lambs and sheep now exalt our forthcoming Good Shepherd who came long ago to keep people uh, of faith from going astray and all like sheep have we. And uh, may the most merciful grace be now multiplied uh, unto every needing soul who craves better insights into uh, our desire of the nations, who has taught learned men of faith to trust not, nor lean upon any reed shaken in the wind. For all flesh is grass, and the goodliness thereof shall fall to the ground as wilting flowers of the field. So may receivers now receive this Elijah task blessing uh, from he who is Shiloh, one who has been transgressed by wine, but the just shall live by my faith. And may the transcending peace come and be with every believer of love from peace, joy from joy, grace from grace, and faith from faith, and love from love. For it is God alone, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, the living word of God, one with our uh, uh, creator of all who holds those blessed names. And only our Messiah solves all mystery. Only the word of God could cut short these days uh, so that not all flesh would be uh, lost as he foretold his word causing um, this world to be transcending the, the horrors that will come if we will be obedient unto love. For love is the answer to all of our concerns. For there's no conceivable question about any of our soul's problems that our peace couldn't offer the solutions to. And nor would that word of faith, that living word, ever refuse to be our living resolution because he always is helping us in keeping all forms of oppressive imaginations away, all uh, imaginations that would make our love die. And then the obedient followers of grace, his grace and his love and his mercy shall be saved from needlessly being trodden down by evil that comes from within us as our sinfulness haunts us. But praise God, it's time that he's cutting our strings. If you read Jeremiah 31, uh, it is foretold that in the latter days when this message is given to mankind, 
that God would remove all of uh, our, our bondage of spiritual religiosity so that we could have the clearest vision and understanding of his love that it has always been bottomless and that there has never been any sin that would block us from being embraced ever more by him except to let our light of love go right out. Don't do it, people. I love you all. Bye for now.